This is the solution video for unit seven review, question number 36. If P of X is a polynomial of degree six and Q of X is the definite integral from zero to X squared of P of X dx, what is the degree of Q of X? All right, so remember, a uh, polynomial of degree six, that means it's like X to the sixth plus, you know, something X to the fifth plus and so on, right? So X to the sixth is the highest power. Now, it could have some sort of a coefficient as well, all right? But we know that P of X is a polynomial of degree six, right? All right, now, if Q of X is the integral from zero to X squared of P of X DX, right? So now, when we see this, right, this should prompt us to think about the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Remember, the second fundamental theorem of calculus says F, capital F of X, equals the integral from A to G of X times little f of T dt, right? So that told us that capital F prime of X is little f of G of X, times g prime of x, right? So that means that if I have q of x here, q prime of x would be what? Well, we're going to take x squared and plug it, put it in for x there. So I get p of x squared times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Now, p is a polynomial of degree 6. So that means now if I'm plugging an x squared into a 6 degree polynomial, I'm going to end up with like an x to the 12th and then times another 2x, which means that q prime is going to be like something, call it a, x to the 13th, right? So now the question says, what is the degree of q of x? So if I go backwards, if this is q prime of x, then that means q of x must have been something x to the 14th. And so the degree of q of x must be 14.